I honestly never thought I ever would, but then my sister bought a family subscription. And I feel like I'm the only one that uses it now, so it's funny how that works out. <clears throat> I like random being called classifieds. Nice dedication to the craft. As usual, not a huge fan of synthwave songs with lyrics, but or vocals, but uh, I don't know. It's perfect. You know, I've been favorite. talking to you without pushing my button. Oh yeah? Because I'm an idiot. I'm not a huge fan of synthwave though. Um, in general, like it's, eh. I, I prefer like 80s alternative, or 90s alternative rock, 2000s alternative rock, 70s folk rock, some prog rock. Is your favorite wrestler the rock? Um, no. For this for that, I'm gonna push this button on my soundboard. Thank goodness I my can't hear it on my mic. Time is now. Um. So. What kind of synthwave have you listened to? Like original 80s synthwave stuff? Like. Like stuff that made my head want to explode. So I'm not really understanding. I don't know. My friends made me listen to it. I'm just not sure if you were listening to the right synth wave, if I'm going to be honest. Fair enough. It's like really kind of dark toned electronic beats. That's what I think of when I think synth wave. Basically, if if you listen oh, to my are, stream, are we still playing hardcore, or did we? Did somebody already get a UAV? We got a UAV. We're playing hardcore. Okay. Um. If you listen to my stream, there's synthwave playing on there. Maybe you could verify if this is the kind of music you dislike. I will have to take a look later. Oh. Yeah. If I listen to your stream, it'll come through my audio, and oh. anything we say will bubble up. Oh my gosh, how convenient. Hi, Ishmael. He's standing on my chest. Like a gold kitty. <laughs> I can't see my game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, there he goes. Okay, now I can see. Thank you, buddy. Perturbator is absolutely my favorite synthwave. I guess it's just really hard for me to wrap my head around someone not liking this music. Um, but then there, you know, we do have different tastes. Well, that's like me not being able to wrap my head around people who don't get Led Zeppelin. Oh yeah, trash band. What, what are you bringing up the, them up for? Exactly, right? John Bonham is a terrible drummer. It's good he died. Yep. Nothing like uh, aspirating on your own vomit. Definitely served him right. Mm-hmm. I had a co-worker once try and tell me that Led Zeppelin didn't know how to jam.
I mean, they don't have really a lot of peanut butter, so I, I could see that being legitimate. Oh my gosh, hey. this song, dude. How? I can't even focus. Oh. So good. Um, so yeah, Led Zeppelin, I don't love them I... myself, but I do understand and appreciate their tremendous contributions to, uh, to music. I'm not a hundred percent sure why John Bonham is apparently the best drummer in the world. That one eludes me a bit. But because he's able to hold four separate rhythms with each of his limbs. Um, that's so every... he can play almost melody and harmony at the same time while drumming. That's every drummer, though. No, it's not. Most drummers can do two, maybe three rhythms. Not good drummers. Like the, uh, there's a couple drummers that come close. Neil Peart, um, Ron Daler. Not familiar with him. Mastodon. Uh, uh, okay, I'll give you that one. Their music's not at all easy. Mike Portnoy, um, Dream Theater. Well, I exclude Dream Theater from any of these arguments due to the fact that they all have doctorates in their given fields. That that's does. what they do. That does not matter, though. You, I could have a doctorate in music theory and suck at drums, like. True. However, Dream Theater is designed to be the best at everything ever. I know I'm usually joking when I say trash argument, but I feel like that is kind of a trash argument that Dream Theater should be excluded because they have doctorates, and their Dream goal Theater is to be, be the best. Because they're too damn good. That has a, an air of no, facetiousness they're... to it, so I like it, but I don't know. I I, I like Dream Theater. They're, they're pretty good. You know, funny story, uh, I'm not a huge fan of them myself, but I do love their technique. Especially Mike Portnoy. He's a god. He, uh, Neil Peart, Ron Daler, basically everyone we just named. Gods. Oh, really? Really, you're you're gonna try and say Dave Grohl is not really good at what he does? No, I'm not saying he's not good at what he does. I'm saying he's not a god like those others. That's what I I'm know saying. a lot of people who consider him the heir apparent to uh, to uh, uh, John Bonham, despite the fact that Jason Bonham is a really good drummer in his own right. Buddy Rich. Yay! I have been <laughs> selected for a survey question. Did you have fun in the last match? No. Yeah, I got that too. But I, I said no because some of those guys seem like they might have been hacked. I said yes because I guess I don't give a sh nut <laughs> that was the best save ever <laughs> oh man get on my level um I don't know I, I feel like Dave Let's go for the double XP I feel like Dave Grohl and Actually, no we need TDM stuff don't we damn it Hey, look, we got a team deathmatch. Hey, look, we got a team deathmatch on the same app. Um, this is on PC, uh, Crazy Gamer Matthew. I, I feel like 
people who say that Dave Grohl is the heir apparent to John Bonham, they are the same people that say Travis Barker is the best drummer in the world. Whereas Not familiar. Blink One Eighty Two. Okay, thank you. <laughs> With few exceptions, I'm bad at names. I uh, I don't know. This might be a bit controversial. Um, I think Travis Barker is good at drumming fast, but when compared to these other guys, I don't really think he's that amazing. I would say Dave Grohl is even better than him, to be honest. And that's saying a lot, considering I do not care for Dave Grohl too much. I like Dave Grohl. Um, I think he grew a lot between Nirvana and Foo Fighters. Would you say he growl a lot? I'll say he growled on me. Nice. Excuse me! Oh gosh! I'll save you! Wow. Take you it. were about to complain about the kill steal, and uh, we just got killed. I was not going to complain about the kill steal. What are you talking about, it? Freak. Um, have you played Deus Ex Human Revolution? I believe so, or it might have been Mankind Divided. Well, we talked about Mankind Divided uh, last night. I was one. Okay. I'm, Mankind Divided does have synthwave music in it, though. That's a good example, too. I don't know why I asked about Human Revolution. Would you say synthwave music is the music that is highly classified with, or... Classified, but uh, uh, rah. Associated with cyberpunk video games. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's. I'm not always a fan of their soundtracks. I've heard some stuff that's pretty good. I've heard some stuff that's absolute trash garbage. Like what? What's the trash garbage? Uh, Dave Sax. Okay, you just hate that game, so I'm not gonna well, really. I have a very bad opinion of that game. I guess that that's fair. <clears throat> um, what about Hotline Miami? Did you listen to that music? I'm not familiar with that at all. It's a top-down shooter, sort of. I don't know how to explain that one. It's a very difficult game, but Perturbator did the music for that. Um, Far Cry Three Blood Dragon. I did not play that either. I have it on my PlayStation for free. Nice. I unfortunately am not a fan of Far Cry. Mostly because I didn't get into it. Mm. Far Cry Primal looked interesting. Okay, the people lighting on fire and screaming is scary. Not, not like fear scary, but disgusting in a holy crap, they're actually portraying this kind of way. Yeah, you know, I kind of wish that you could turn that off. I was going to post that video of me being a god on Call of Duty um, on my Facebook, but uh, because of those screams of agony of being burned alive, I decided not to. And that's even with the, like, gore and blood turned off. It sucks. It makes me feel horrible. So I absolutely not agree. not gonna stop me from using a shotgun, though. But it will stop me from using incendiary shells. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny DeVito. I would have loved Danny DeVito to be Detective Pikachu. It would be perfect. He's already played the Lorax. It would just it would be perfect. But he's Frank. Uh actually he's the penguin. <laughs> he's also the penguin. And I think he was also in Death to Smoochie. I don't remember what role.